Hi everyone. Um, this next video that I'm going to show you in Classroom is going to show you what an assignment looks like from the perspective of a student. In the last video, we actually created an assignment and it looks like this. It was a chapter 10 study guide with a document um, attached. So I'm going to switch over to my other web browser, which has me logged in as a student. And just like the teacher, um, once the student is logged into their drive, they can click on the grid and get to their classroom. From classroom, I can go ahead and join my class that my teacher added me to. And you can see that I automatically have the assignment right here. Uh-oh, and it's late. <laughs> it will tell you if it's late or if it's not done yet. So I'm going to open up my assignment. And um, Google Classroom automatically creates my own Google Doc that I fill out so I can open it as a student. And from here, I could kind of, if this were an actual study guide, I could type whatever I wanted to um, to complete the assignment. And then from that point on, it looks a little different than your normal Google Doc. Just like on your normal Google Doc, you have the share and the comments, but something that's unique to Classroom is that you have this Turn In button. So once the student has completed whatever you sent them, they can click Turn In. And it will take them back to their classroom. It will say, are you sure you want to turn in? And I can say yes. Um, as a student, I can also add a comment to my teacher. So I could say, sorry, this is late. I was sick. So I can comment back and forth to my teacher. And then I can post that comment so that only my teacher can see. Now, if this were a different kind of assignment, as a student, I could also upload a file. I could attach something, I could submit a link, so it doesn't always have to be a Google Doc. It can be other different forms of assignments as well. You'll see up here I can also add a class comment if I want. Um, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, um, what was, I was confused on the answer. So you can actually add whole post comments and get help from your students. Okay, if I wanted to get back to my stream, I could go hit the back button. And again, just like the teacher, um, if I go to my drive, double click on classroom, I can go to my YouTube class, and here is that assignment. So that's the nice thing. Um, just like the teacher account as a student, everything is automatically saved for the student in their Google Drive and organized. So that is how you submit assignment using Google Classroom.